Hello, I'm Jim Carey, and I'm going to present a case-based approach of meniscus allograft transplantation using a soft tissue technique. For this case, we're going to look at a 25-year-old medical student who sustained a knee injury while running. Pain localized medially more than anteriorly. She characterized the pain as an 8 out of 10 in intensity, and her pain was associated with catching sensations. On physical examination, she had very minimal intalgia. Her left knee range of motion was 3 to 130 degrees. Point tenderness localized to the posterior medial joint line. She had a trace to small effusion, and stability testing was normal. These are her x-rays, which show that the joint spaces were well-maintained. Of note, ultimately, I confirmed neutral alignment with full-length standing imaging. So here's the MRI of the left knee. You can see that there's a medial meniscus tear there. I anticipate being a simple tear, in which case I was going to repair it, or if there was a complex component, maybe uh, remove part of this tear. But the tear was very complex, as you can see here, complex, multi-directional tearing. In fact, about 85% of the meniscus was involved with this tear. Here's some of the imagings after I removed the grossly non-functional tissue. You can see the articular surfaces of the medial femoral condyle and medial tibial plateau were quite well preserved. The rest of the knee appeared healthy. I examined the ACL carefully in the lateral compartment, the patellofemoral compartment. In her post-operative course, I carefully reviewed the findings with the patient. She attended physical therapy as directed, but she noted continued medial-sided pain. My assessment was left knee medial meniscus deficiency after arthroscopy with partial meniscectomy. There were no associated structural pathology, specifically the ACL was normal, there was normal articular cartilage and neutral alignment. Through a shared decision-making process, we formulated our plan. I reviewed the treatment options, including post-operative rehabilitation. And our surgical plan was arthroscopy of the left knee with medial meniscus allograft transplantation. What I'm going to present here is one possible technique to transplant a medial meniscus. The first step, I leave about a one millimeter rim of native meniscal tissue. And that's what I'm depicting there. Next, I prepare the allograft. I place non-absorbable grasping sutures in the posterior horn and anterior horn, and I place an absorbable monofilament suture in the body. The next step is preparation of the posterior horn attachment site. I remove the cartilage there with an angled curette or a shaver. I place a rigid ACL targeting guide right where I want that meniscus to be secured, and I drill to the point. Then I have to draw the meniscus allograft into the joint. First, I pass two loops of suture about the body, and that's depicted on the left with the purple and the tiger-striped white suture. I double or triple the portal length to allow passage first of my finger, then of the meniscus to ensure no tangling of the suture. And then I evaluate the fit before tying the posterior root suture over a metallic button. The next step is to secure the meniscus allograft further. I use an all inside repair of the posterior horn. I hold the meniscus in position and then do an outside in repair of the body and anterior horn. For the anterior root, I place a biocomposite anchor. Sometimes parts of the anterior horn are too thin for a vertical mattress or even oblique suture pattern. And so in those cases, I place one through the meniscus and then the other through the capsule. I assess circumferential stability of seven points or so of the repair. The posterior root is always one point of repair tied over the button. Posterior horn, that, again, that's with the all inside suture technique. It's usually one or two fixation points. The posterior horn and the body has that traction suture for drawing in the meniscus. I tie that over the capsule. And then the body and anterior horn has the outside in technique that I previously showed. That's two or three fixation points. And the anterior root is always one fixation point with that biocomposite anchor. During the post-operative course, the patient attended physical therapy as directed. She used the brace, crutches, observed the motion limits for the first six weeks as directed. At the 18 week visit, she had no pain. We carefully reviewed the function of transplant tissue again. I reviewed specifically that it typically holds up to activities of daily life. It may survive more. I re review my concerns about returning to the meniscal deficient state. I even reviewed my first office note. This patient thoughtfully, gradually increased their activities and resumed jogging without difficulty. Thank you.